Our uh, earnings actually in the second quarter on an underlying basis uh, were very strong. Uh, we uh, delivered a pre-tax income of $1.3 billion. Uh, if you look at our uh, reported pre-tax income of $813 million, uh, that was obviously impacted also by the Archegos uh, charges in the second quarter. Uh, it's very satisfying that for the full half year we are now back in profitability, having taken a $5 billion Swiss franc hit, I think is an achievement in itself. If you look at our assets under management in both wealth management and in asset management, they are at record levels. Uh, and because we were so focused on this second quarter to reduce our risk-weighted assets and leverage exposure, particularly in prime services, uh, uh, but also in the, in the firm as a whole, in the investment bank as well, reduction of 20 billion US dollars in terms of risk-weighted assets, 40 billion in terms of leverage, and this resulted in a CT1 capital ratio of 13.7%, which is the highest capital ratio we've had in many years. So we actually achieved all the things we wanted to achieve in this second quarter on the back of the challenges we had around both Archegos and Supply Chain Fund. Obviously, the ROTE in at 2.6% is well short of those targets of 8 to 10% that you've been setting. Um, how do you rebuild and recover from this position to start to get back to some of those returns on tangible equity that your shareholders want to see? Well, if you have a 5 billion Swiss franc loss, uh, obviously you cannot look at the net income in terms of uh, ROTE if you want to look at the underlying uh, quality of the business uh, and the potential to deliver returns. If you look at uh, a return on uh, regulatory capital uh, of the divisions, uh, be it in the three wealth managed divisions, Asia, Switzerland, or uh, IWM, uh, in particular also asset management, they are in the high double digits. And uh, also the investment bank, if you look at the first half on an adjusted basis, we made 2.8 billion in terms of pre-tax income, excluding Archegos, which is by far the highest uh, uh, pre-tax income we would have made in, in many years. So on an underlying basis, the business has, to, has, has been doing very, very well. But obviously, we had this uh, very serious event, which we take very seriously, and uh, we have to work through that. But if you look at the returns on our midterm targets, um, clearly, you have to adjust it.